Hi, I'm Kevin Jacob, and I'm one of the assistant principals here at Brexville Broadview Heights High School, and I'm here to talk to you a little bit today about uh, safety and security measures here at Brexville Broadview Heights High School. One of the things that I want to bring your attention to is our cleaning and sanitation processes that we're putting in place for this 2020-21 school year. Uh, we have taken the measure to increase our uh, custodial staffing during school hours. Uh, the increased staffing is going to be emphasized in you know, common areas, you know, places like the cafeteria and the cafeteria serving lines. Uh, our student restrooms and high touch surface areas such as stairwell handrails are going to be areas that uh, our custodial custodians during the day are going to be emphasized for cleaning with a great uh, amount of frequency throughout the course of the day. Uh, each classroom is going to be equipped with uh, tubs of sanitizing wipe and spray uh, uh, to help uh, with more lifetime cleaning practices during the course of the school day. Each evening, our custodial staff is going to be using an electrostatic cleaning mist device uh, that will be used to make sure that classrooms are cleaned and sanitized. Uh, the misting devices are highly effective and more efficient in terms of cleaning uh, classrooms than maybe traditional cleaning methods that have been previously employed in years past. So you could rest assured that your, your classrooms, your student desks uh, are going to be sanitized with regularity and with a great deal of scrutiny uh, so that you, you have a place to come that is healthy and safe for you on an ongoing basis. Something to keep in mind this school year that our hallway uh, water fountains, your traditional water fountains, will not be operational. Uh, but through the generous support of our PSO, we had several water bottle filling stations installed within the last school year. So for those of you who bring a water bottle to school, you still will have access to water through the uh, filling stations, just not the traditional water fountains with, uh, that you would see uh, in hallways. Those will be shut off and not available for use. Cafeteria services will remain consistent. We will have our daily breakfast serving starting at 7.15 a.m. and our regular lunch services, uh, complete with school lunch, you know, full school lunches and breakfasts and uh, a la carte items. Uh, service will look a little bit different than in years past. We're going to be emphasizing the use of to-go bags uh, with prior uh, wrapped and prepared meals uh, placed in a bag for your purchase. You'll simply use your PIN number and a con uh, cashless kind of uh, system with the entry of your PIN number to uh, once again increase the uh, or decrease the lack of or the decrease the amount of contact between individuals um, in the lunch serving line. Um, one thing to keep in mind of is we are going to be, have to be following the state of Ohio's uh, school reopening guidelines and a, a great deal of those guidelines emphasize the use of students wear and staff wearing masks and the concept of physical distancing. Uh, the Minimum barrier, minimum recommendations for us to, you know, kind of follow here in the school, emphasize a three to six distance between each individual during the course of the day. And we're going to be really, uh, you know, kind of invested in trying to enforce that standard throughout the course of the school day. We're asking students not to congregate um, in common areas and hallways, uh, maybe like we have in years past when traveling down, uh, you know, down hallway uh, corridors, uh, really emphasizing this idea of a three to six foot barrier uh, between individuals as we, as we travel throughout our building. Uh, with that said, um, that does not necessarily mean that we are um, emphasizing uh, social distancing. We're still encouraging you to form great relationships with other students, with staff, uh, to engage in a manner that you that you always have before, but always keeping in mind that principle of three to six feet of separation at all times. Um, to help aid with that, we have placed many markings and uh, signs throughout the course of the building uh, as, uh, as a visual reminder of that principle. So, you know, this year we will be asking students to be very mindful of that three to six foot uh, distance and mask wearing at all times within the building. Uh, thank you very much and look forward to seeing you on the first day of school.